So basically, this webinar is uh, organized by Project Management Learning Hub. It is a private partnership institute that uh, is providing uh, free uh, webinars and some free trainings and a uh, lot of uh, trainings with uh, 70, 80 percent discount to uh, students, to uh, members of the different organizations and uh, different institutes, different universities. Uh, this train, this webinar is organized by PMLH in collaboration with IAPM. IAPM is the International Association of Project Managers, Pakistan chapter, and uh, Sikos University, Peshawar, and the American Academy of Project Management. Uh, Mr. Professor David uh, Moran I, uh, is with us. He was uh, born on 14th of February 1968 in Gombe state of Nigeria. He obtained a PhD in Human Resource Development and Management, PhD in Mission, PhD in Divinity, and also doctorate degrees in seven other disciplines. Uh, he has been awarded with more than 100 national and international awards and certifications, and it is a very good achievement. Uh, uh, for this achievement, uh, salute to you, Mr. Professor uh, David. He is a member. He is also a member of over 19 organizations, associations, national level and international level, and served most of them as a secretary, accountant, and director. Currently, he is the president of African Chancellor World Organization of Ambassadors with the institutional headquarters in Argentina. He is also the chairman and CEO. Hand up development organization, the subsidiary of Hand Up International New Zealand. He is also the president of Wisdom University Gombe that is under development. He is the uh, convener of Word Blast International Leadership Impartation Conference. Uh, so please, uh, you are welcome in this webinar and uh, now uh, Mike is with you, sir. Shalom. Uh, yes, sir. I listen to you. Please uh, share your screen, please. Or Am I audible? Your... Yes, sir. You are audible. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Walikum assalam, sir. Walikum assalam and uh, welcome to this platform, sir. Special greetings from Africa, Nigeria to the specific. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. It's a privilege to be in this conference this afternoon and uh, evening in the other aspects of the, the continent. Uh, special thanks goes to the International Association of Project Managers, Project Management Learning Hub, and Cisco University of Pakistan for the opportunity to make a paper presentation today in this conference. Thanking also Ambassador Imran Sabah Khan for the special invitation to be a keynote speaker in this conference. My topic in this uh, seminar is positive mindset. Positive mindset. What is positive mindset, if I may ask. Positive mindset. People talk so much about positive, positive mindset, be positive. What is this positive mindset all about? It is probably not a surprise to us that positivity is inherently at the center of positive psychology. Then what is positive psychology? Positive psychology is the scientific study of what makes life most worth living, focusing on both individual and societal well-being. It studies positive subjective experience positive individual threats and positive institutions. It aims to improve quality of life. Before I dive properly into this lecture, 
I want to draw our attention to a crucial point, and that is positivity doesn't always refer to simply smiling and looking cheerful. It's far beyond that. However, positivity is more about one's overall perspective on life and their tendency to focus on all that is good in life. In this piece, we will cover the basics of positivity within positive psychology, identify some of the many benefits of approaching life from a positive point of view, and explore some tips and techniques for cultivating a positive mindset. This piece is a comprehensive one, so settle and get comfortable as we get started. What is a positive mindset and attitude? You probably have had an idea of what a positive mindset or positive attitude is already, but it's always helpful to start with a definition. This definition from Remis Sasson will give us better understanding he says, positive thinking is a mental and emotional attitude that focuses on the bright side of life, bright side of life, and expects positive results. A more comprehensive definition comes from Kendra, who says, positive thinking actually means approaching life's challenges with a positive outlook positive outlook, approaching life challenges with a positive outlook. It does not necessarily mean avoiding or ignoring the bad things we encounter. Instead, it involves making the most of the potentially uh, bad situations, trying to see the best in the other people and viewing yourself and your abilities in a positive light. We can extrapolate from these definitions and come up with a good description of a positive mindset as the tendency to focus on the bright side, expect positive results and approach challenges with a positive outlook. Having a positive mindset means making positive thinking and habit. Making a positive thinking a habit. Continually searching for the silver lining and making the best out of any situation you find yourself in. Having had that, I want to give us some characteristics and traits of the positive mindset. Now that we know what a positive mindset is, we can dive into the next important question. And that is, what does positive mindset look like? What does positive mindset looks like? I'll give us uh, uh, some, some points here to buttress on that. There are many traits and characteristics associated with positive mindset, which includes one. Being optimism in life. Optimism is a willingness to make an effort and take a chance instead of assuming your efforts won't pay off. Willingness to make an effort and take a chance instead of assuming your efforts won't pay off. Two, acceptance. Acceptance simply means acknowledging that things don't always turn out how you want them to, but learning from your mistakes, accepting your mistakes and learning from those mistakes. That's acceptance. Number three, resilience. Resilience means bouncing back from adversities. When adversities hit you, you hit back. You don't hold your hand and sit waiting for your benediction. When adversities hits you, 
you bounce back. Bounce back. Disappointment and failure, you can challenge them by bouncing back to them. You can face them instead of giving up. You don't give up. You keep struggling. That is a positive attitude. Gratitude. Gratitude is very important if we are going to develop a positive mindset. Gratitude, actively, continuously appreciating the good things in your life means gratitude. Actively and continuously appreciating everything that happens or occurs in your life. Everything that happens in your life. Then consciousness and mindfulness. One of the threats or characteristics of a positive mindset. Dedicating the mind to conscious awareness. Dedicating the mind to conscious awareness and enhancing the ability to focus. Consciously dedicating your mind to conscious awareness, conscious happenings around you and enhance your ability to focus on what is important. Focusing on what is important. Live out of things that are not necessary. Concentrate on things that are important is a threat to positive attitude. Then number six, integrity. The threat of being honorable, righteous, and straightforward instead of deceitful and self-serving. You have to be honorable, righteous, and straightforward in life. You stop deceiving yourself and also serving self in deceit. Not only are these characteristics of a positive mindset, but they may also work in other directions. Actively adopting optimism, acceptance, resilience, gratitude, mindfulness, and integrity in your life will help you develop and maintain a positive mindset. Let's have a look on some positive attitudes to guide us in our lecture tonight. In the meantime, you, if you found the list above still bad, there are many more specific examples of positive attitudes I would love to present here. For example, positive attitudes can include one, looking at any adversity in the eye and laughing. Looking at any adversity in the eye and be laughing. That is enough for that adversity to quit. Number two, getting what you get and not teaching a pit. Getting what you get and not teaching a pit. Number three, enjoying the unexpected, even when it's not what you wanted originally. That's a positive attitude. Enjoying the unexpected, even when it's not what you wanted originally. Number four, motivating those around you with a positive word. There shouldn't be any occasion in your life you bring up negativities. There shouldn't be that occasion. If you're going to maintain positivity in your life, your words, your action, your behavior, your posture should be positive. Give out positive words. It will encourage others and bounce back to you as a source of encouragement. Number five, using the power of smile. Smile is contagious. You can give a smile and it will bounce back to you because when you give a smile, you, you, you lead a, a positivity straight into the life of another person and that person gives you back. And the, the smile you receive from other persons helps to maintain your positivity. So learn to give out a smile. Give, often give a smile. 
always give a smile. Being friendly to those you don't know. When you encounter people, strangers, new people around you, be friendly. That is positivity. Be friendly. In that way, you will have more number of people around you. And they will be a blessing to your life. Using a friendship to attract more people into your life. That is one threat of the positivity. The getting back, when you fall down, when you fall and you refuse to get up, then it's over. And the reason why some people don't come up is because they have already been dominated with negativities in their mind. And they make a conclusion and nothing will come forth out of this. Nothing good will come out of my efforts. That's wrong. It's very, very wrong. When you fall, make efforts to rise. No matter how many times you fall, you can still rise. No matter how many times you fall, Fall, you can still rise. Help yourself to rise. That is positivity. Being a source of energy that lifts those around you. Be a source of help to people around you. Be a source of energy that lifts those around you. You don't ignore people around you who need your services. You don't ignore people around you who need your help. You always extend yourself. No matter how little the service is, it can go a long way to change somebody's situation. And when people are happy, you are also equally becoming a happy person. Now, understanding that relationships are more important than material things. Build relationships than packing material things to hot relationships. If you have people around you, you are wealthy. If people are surrounding you, you are rich. So value people than material things. That's another quality of a positive mindset. Next, you can be happy even when you have little. You can be happy when you have little. You don't trouble your soul. You don't trouble your mind. The more you trouble your soul, the more you take the path of negativity. Once you engage yourself into the path of negativity, you start going down. So appreciate the little you have. Be happy with the little you have. Motivate yourself with the little you have. And hope that more is coming. Next, having a good time even when you are losing. Losing is not the end but creating time to advance, creating time to advance. So always have good time. When it seemingly things are not working well for you, have good time for yourself. Create good time, create moments that makes you happy. Never allow negativity to stop you from advancing, no matter what happens. Always be positive. Being happy, for someone's success, this is another key, and many people are failing in this aspect. When people succeed, you celebrate them. When people succeed, you honor them. When people succeed, you get happy about it. You are hard enough to yourself. So get happy with the success of others. As you are getting happy with their success, you are creating opportunities for yourself. You are paving a way for success to come into your life. So never be hungry when people are succeeding. Never be downcasted when friends are succeeding and it seems your own journey is being slow. Always be happy with results other people are getting in their activities. It will also enhance your positivity to find your own path to success. Next, having a positive future vision, no matter how bad your current circumstances is. No matter how bad the situation is around you, you can still hope, you can still believe that tomorrow or the next moment, things will turn around for you. Develop this attitude. Always have a vision that tomorrow is gonna to be better. Have a vision, have a mindset that tomorrow is going to be nice, nicer than today. That will help you give you a sound health. Sound, sound, sound health. Positivity gives you health. 
gives you vitality, gives you strength, gives you energy to focus on the available. Next, smiling. Keep smiling. Let it be your identity. Be smiling. One of my secrets, how I knock so many situations is I smile. Even when I've been threatened, I smile it out. When I see challenge, I smile my way out. When I see troubles, I smile my way out. I've been always a happy man and succeeding in all I do. Smiling, there's power in smiling. You can, you can develop that attitude. You can develop that habit. You can develop that skill of smiling to conquer negativities around you. No matter how worse your situation is, when you, when you give back a smile, you have conquered that situation. Next, being a compliment even to a total stranger. Don't despise strangers around you. Never despise strangers. If you are going to have and maintain a positive attitude, extend yourself to strangers. Some of these strangers are test apparatus to test who you are, to test your quality, to test your ability, to test what you claim to be. So never ignore strangers in your life. There are many ways to serve strangers. You can serve them by offering a helping hand. You can serve strangers by giving them your shoulders. You can serve strangers by giving them ideas or supporting them in any way you can support them. So never ignore strangers in life. Pay attention to strangers, no matter how totally they are. People from other countries, people from other continents, people from other, other ethnicities, people from other communities, you can accommodate them. The more you do that, you are going higher. You are updating, you are upgrading, you are moving on. Never limit yourself by ignoring strangers around you. The more you ignore strangers, the more you are <laughs> degrading yourself. You are devaluing your own journey in life. Value strangers and extend yourself to them. That will be a good a gesture for you to, to rise. Next, tell someone you know that they did great job. Encourage people who have served you or are serving others in doing something. Encourage them by telling them you have done a good job. That's the motivation. When you motivate others, motivation comes back to you. Try as much as you can to motivate those who are working. Motivate those who are doing anything, no matter how little they are doing, you can motivate them. Try to be a motivator. That's another quality of a positive mindset. Make someone's day count. Make someone's day count. Encourage somebody to fulfill their day. Encourage somebody to make their day with ease. Make their day count. Make their day count. You can extend a little gift to somebody to encourage what they are doing. Make their day count. You can send compliments to, to encourage somebody so that they know what they are doing is being appreciated. That's a positive attitude. Next, it is not complaining, no matter how unfair things appear to you. You don't complain. Even though things are bad, things are terrible, things are worse, things are not going in your own line of thought, you can always excuse the Next, not letting other people's negativity bring you down. Never let other people's negativity bring you down. I don't care, I don't give a damn. No matter how terrible you are around me, I'll concentrate with what is important. No matter how terrible you are, no matter how bad you are, no matter how negativity surrounds your life, it doesn't stop me from moving with my life. I've long developed this attitude. So never allow the negativities of others to bring you down. Never. Never destroy your journey. Never stop yourself. Never prevent yourself from moving forward because of others. Never avoid that attitude so that you can get along with your own journey. Focus on what is important. Giving more than you expect to get in return. Give more. Continue to give. 
give services to this. The more you give, the more it comes back to you. Even if it doesn't come back, you have still served and uh, you have been fulfilled. When you serve, you don't even expect. But when rewards begin to come, fine. When they don't come, fine. The most important thing you have served, always serve cheerfully, serve happily. And that will count for you. It will add more value to what you are doing. Now, lastly, be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. As for Stephen, be true to yourself. Never deceive yourself. Never deceive your own self. Be true to yourself. Inform yourself. Tell yourself what you need to know. Inform yourself about things you need to know. Do not despise the truth when it comes to telling your own very self the truth. All the truth that you need, you need to tell yourself. And that will help you to overcome every aspect or form of negativity. The more you speak the truth to yourself, you are conquering negativities around you. Build a fence around you with the truth. Build a strong wall of defense around you with the truth. Tell that same truth to yourself and you conquer. Why is positive attitude considered the key to success? Why is a positive attitude considered key to success? Many people are succeeding, are succeeding because of positivity, positive attitude. Why is it a key to success? I want to take us down the line. Now, we know a little bit more about what a positive mindset looks like. We can turn to one of the biggest questions of all. What's the deal with having a positive attitude? What is the deal having a positive attitude? What is it about having a positive mindset that is so important, so impactful, and so life-changing? Well, the traits and characteristics mentioned above gives us int. If you come through balancing, you will see a plethora of benefits linked to optimism, resilience, and mindfulness. You will also see that awareness and integrity are linked to a better quality of life. And acceptance and gratitude can take you from the okay life to the good life. The importance of developing the right attitude. The importance of developing right attitude. Developing a truly positive mindset and gaining these benefits is a function of the thoughts you cultivate. The thoughts you cultivate are weapons. The thoughts you cultivate are weapons for your conquest or for your defeat. So thoughts are important. The thoughts you cultivate enhances either a positivity in you or negativity in you. So I would rather encourage you to cultivate good thoughts in your mind. The more the good thoughts in your mind, the more the conquest, the more the advancement, the more the success you acquire in life. Never worry, this piece isn't about the kind of positive thinking that is all positive all the time. We don't claim that just thinking happy thoughts, listen to me, just thinking happy thoughts will bring you all the success you desire, it's beyond that. Not just being happy, thinking happy thoughts can bring success, it's beyond that. And we certainly don't believe that optimism is warranted in every situation, every minute of the day. Developing the right thought is not about being constantly happy or cheerful. Listen to me again. I said developing the right thoughts is not about being constantly happy or cheerful. And it's not about ignoring anything negative or unpleasant in your life. Now, it is about incorporating both the positive and the negative into your life perspective and choosing to still be generally optimistic. Both combine the positive 
and the negative will not stop you from becoming optimistic in life. Now, it is also about acknowledging that you will not always be happy. Yes, there are sad moments. There are moments you'll be sad. There are moments you will not be happy. And learning to accept bad moods and difficult emotions when they come, that's positivity. Bad moments will come, sad moments will come, troubles will come, but you accommodate them with a positive mind. Positivity. Above all, it's about increasing your control over your own attitude in the face of whatever comes your way, increasing your control over any situation, your control over any circumstance, your control over anything that confronts you. You cannot control your mood and you cannot always control the thoughts that pop into your head. But you can choose how to handle them. You may have bad moods, but you can control them. You can be attacked with bad moods, with bad moments. You may not control them coming. Yes, they can happen. But you can control how you handle everything that confronts you. That's possible. When you choose to give in to the negativity, pessimism and, and the doom and gloom view of the world, you are not only submitting to a loss of control and potentially wallowing in unhappiness, you are missing out on an important opportunity for growth and development. Never miss out on this aspect of growing and developing. So don't key into gloom, don't key into unhappinesses, don't, key, don't submit yourself to anything that has potential to take you out of your purpose. You can control. Situations can come, I said earlier, but you can control them from controlling you. Now, according to positive psychology, Barbara Fredrickson, Say negative thinking and negative emotions have their place. Negative thinking and negative emotions have their place. And negative emotions have their place. They allow you to sharpen your focus on dangers, threats, and vulnerabilities. This is vital for survival, although perhaps not as much as it was for our ancestors. On the other hand, positive thinking and positive emotions broaden and build our resources and skills and open us up to possibilities. So the negativities that come around, the troubles, the pain that comes around, they rather hard up, they give us advantage to a better tomorrow, to a better day, to a better life. So the way you control what comes to you determines the kind of success you will have despite the troubles, despite the circumstances, despite the pains, they will come where you can control them and take advantage over them. You will learn something when they come. Good. Building a positive framework for your thought is not about being bubbly and annoyingly sheer, but making an investment in yourself and your future. It's okay to feel down or to think pessimistically sometimes, but choosing to respond with optimism, resilience, and gratitude will benefit you far more in the long run. The outcomes of a positive attitude. Aside from enhancing your skills and personal resources, there are many other benefits of cultivating a positive attitude, including better overall health, better ability to cope with stress, and greater well-being. According to the expert at the Mayo Clinic, positive thinking can increase your lifespan. Positive thinking can increase your own lifespan. 
So I don't need anybody to push me into that. I'll rightly begin to imbibe that attitude of living a positive lifestyle because it enhances and gives me a better longevity in life. It reduces rate of depression and levels of distress, give you greater resistance to even common cold, to improve your overall psychological and physical well-being. It improves your cardiovascular and health and protect you from cardiovascular diseases and help you build coping skills to keep you afloat during challenges time. In conclusion, positivity doesn't always refer to simply smiling and looking cheerful. However, positivity is more about one's overall perspective on life and their tendency to focus on all that is good in life. I hope this lecture helps us individually to revisit our lives under this mirror of this lecture, to put in place things that are missing and cut out any lump that is killing us silently while pretending all is well. Good luck. Thank you for listening. Thank you for Mr. David for such an informative session. Uh, from your session, uh, I hope everybody uh, feel positive right now. Let's open house for question and answer. If anybody have any query or uh, have any question, please you can ask. Uh, Mr. David, please uh, one question from my side. Uh, as uh, we are working, uh, we all are working as a project managers. And uh, what do you think that what is the basic impact of this positive mindset on the project manager's life or on the project manager's approach for the project success? What do you think that what is uh, that positive mindset is have any impact on the project success? Yes, it has positive effect on the success of your, your project. Drawing line on being optimism, making effort and taking chance instead of assuming your efforts will not pay off. You equally can accept, uh, uh, become so uh, accept, acknowledge things that may not turn out all the times the way you want to. But despite the challenges, things are still working in right perspective. You also have to maintain that the spirit of resilience, bouncing back when things seem not to work well for you and keep on moving. Show gratitude, no matter the level of success you have reached, you can still improve, you can grow. And then being so conscious about happenings around you and learning from the same happenings around you. Finally, integrity. Your organization can maintain a level of integrity and then get win the trust of other organizations or personalities across the world. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. David. And uh, one other question, please. Uh, uh, in our daily life or in our project life, we have seen that uh, most of the people uh, have with a negative mind. And we fight with that people for our, with our positive mindset. But still, but still, after a long effort, we or I did not perform such type of things that move those person who have the negative mindset. So what is the situation or what is the things that we do for that person who have the negative mindset? You con con consciously living and setting an example. Because if you maintain your own passion to remain positive, 
it will definitely remain a contagious thing. Like, for instance, a smile is contagious. Anytime you give out a smile, you see somebody who is blue begins to open their, 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 their lips and start smiling. So consistency is very important. If we maintain our consistencies in what we are doing to, 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 to achieve positivity, it will be contagious. It will affect the people around us, communities around us, and organizations around us. So I have earlier said, if we don't tell ourselves the truth and remain at that lane of telling ourselves the truth, we will not live in deception. Because when we live in deception, we will affect people negatively because it is a spiritual thing. But when we, when we tell ourselves the truth and we maintain that truth, we live in that positivity, it will be contagious and the people around us will be affected and they will fall in line. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Dever. Uh, it's a wonderful session and thank you so much for your answers and for your motivation. Uh, Ms. Yeah, Blue, please uh, take over, please. Yeah. Uh, Deep, please, uh, Aaron, please. Yeah, can I have a question, please? Hello. Hello, I'm with you. Yeah, am I audible? Yeah, audible. Come up. Yeah, first of all, thanks for this uh, informative session, a very important uh, session on the soft skill side. Uh, just uh, related to this particular topic only, like maybe at the workplace or in general life scenarios, if somebody is always looking down a particular person, so like you mentioned that gratitude, smile, and uh, so should one not be reacting? Like there is like, again, responding and reacting, like seven habits of highly effective people. So in case somebody is always looking you down, is it better to react, respond, or you should just say, okay, it's fine, and you don't react at all. You just express gratitude and you take it in the flow. Yeah, we are centered on positivity. Positivity is magnetic. So the more the negativities of people around, you maintain your level of positivity, it will attract. So you are the engine, you are the machine, you maintain your positivity by smiling. No matter how tense the situation, you can drop a smile. Once you drop a smile in a situation, it becomes contagious. It definitely will affect the other side. And they will also key into it. No matter the situation at the on side, you win them by a smile. Your smile will affect them. No matter how tense the situation is, your smile will affect the other side. So smile is still a key to positivity, to affecting the people around us, no matter their situation. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Enrik, uh, kindly please. Uh, I have also that question uh, because Mr. Enrik says that uh, sometimes people behave negatively throughout the throughout the process or throughout the project. Sometimes people behave negatively, and uh, we have nothing to do uh, for that people because we give smile every time we give smile every time we face that problems with some uh, you can say that positive attitude but still still people show their negative attitude show their negativeness and sure. we cannot handle that person we cannot handle that person in a way that please please uh, uh, buck up yourself but still we did not handle that person so, Mr. Mittal, question is uh, already there. Okay, sometimes people uh, behave very, very, uh, you can say that uh, very negatively, unusually. But yes. what I can say, nothing, nothing <laughs> we have to do uh, for that person. So, we left that person with this, okay, please uh, take a side and uh, left this work, please take a side. Can I yes, give some input uh, from my side? Yeah. Can I just add? To yes, that? please. Yes, please, sir. Yeah. Let me. Yes, let, again, let me. Uh, like, uh, yeah, let me make an okay. uh, I have almost. Yeah. Pardon. Hello. Let me make an input to what you just said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, I earlier said in this lecture that the negativities around you also gives you a for a learning. The negativities around some people is a school for yourself, not for them. If people keep on becoming negative around you is to your own advantage because there is something you need to learn. There, is, there, there are a lot, not even one. There are a lot of things to learn from the negativities around you to improve on yourself, to better handle the situation again. 
at the end of the day, you still conquer. So no matter how negative people around you are, when you are so fast in focusing on the positivities in that situation, you, you enhance those, uh, those positivities to your own advantage, and then you give it back to them as, as ladders for them to come up. Because there's always something to learn in every negativity around you. No matter how difficult people are, you can learn something from their own lifestyle. You can improve your own life through their negativities. You can find something to hold on in their own negativities. It is to your own advantage that people are negative because you learn something. You provide solutions. So the more you learn, the more you find the solution. If you don't learn from those negativities, there is no way you can be able to reach them out with solutions. So there is need to look at the situation with a positive mind from your own end and know why are these things like this and then find solutions. You are there to provide solutions. So there is no negative situation we cannot conquer. There is no negative circumstance we cannot conquer. We can convert them to advantages. It depends on us. If we, if we tell ourselves the truth that this is what we want from this project, this is what we expect from this dimension, and we consistently maintain a positive attitude towards that project, we will certainly conquer those people. It's just a matter of time that consistency is, is required. Consistency is required. We don't have to change gears. We have to keep on moving. We have to keep on going in that line of thought that we are expecting a change in that particular thing. So the battle is towards us. If we conquer ourselves, we remain positive, nothing will stop us from getting to wherever we have destined to reach with our goals, with our dreams, with our visions. I hope I made a clear point here. Uh, yes, Mr. David, it's uh, very clear. Uh, you say that if, if someone uh, have negativity with some common exhaustion for common stress or deprivation or even something uh, medical issues, so we should uh, uh, know about his issue, that what type of issue he have and move uh, with that issues and solve the problem of that person. So it uh, basically solve the negativity issue of that person. And you can... Uh, Further, you can say that uh, negativity, how you can break your negativity. And it is so important to stay focused on our long-term goals and vision for our life, our project, our program. And uh, even, even if uh, uh, we have to force ourselves to do one little thing, then I think uh, working on our big goals and taking actions, uh, this sure. make our dream a reality is exactly what sure. we'll, we will take from the uh, negative mindset. Uh, so no. thank you so much. It's a very clear. Uh, Mr. Mittal, please, uh, uh, can you say something? Yeah, see, I can only say I can agree to disagree. And uh, yes, definitely some valid points have been made. And with such a, he must have done his research during the PhD. A uh, lot of reference material. But again, I have worked in some of the best corporations, Bank of America, American Express, World Bank. What you also mentioned, there are sometimes situations where there are two colleagues and the other colleague, maybe you are a new joining. And the, maybe the existing employee is just trying to push you down from left, right, center, everywhere. Then what happens in these situations, you may go to your supervisor. But even if the supervisor is having a biased view, then where to go for? Then as a solution, at least in my life, what I have thought, it's better to avoid such people, better to retire, not to react. Because reaction, or if you, be, if you want to be assertive, there are many trainings that you need to be assertive. But you need to be assertive at a place where the empire is a little bit neutral. But if the empire is itself is having and you have to exist in that organization. So sometimes what I feel, yes, you learn from that situation, what he also mentioned very correctly, that every like a situation, every volatile situation is something where we can learn from. But at least in my personal and professional life, I live in India. I live in a very hostile environment. I live in the capital of India and we have like one of the founding fathers who has this concept of if somebody slaps you on the left, you forward it right. But I don't see that uh, something which is practiced in the society. And uh, then secondly, if I see in the global environment also, if you look at US, uh, all these come with these big, like uh, in the United Nations, like uh, from my experience in the World Bank, uh, the, these countries are considered to be companies at the World Bank, like in a company. So these, com these com uh, countries are representing themselves as companies. Uh, so just to say like I what I can summarize that it's better to like if you don't have to interact 
that person not impacting you personally it's better not to react and just to retire and be a little bit cautious that you don't need to interact with that person further try to avoid that person if the empire is something where you don't expect to get justice and uh, like for this uh, country which i was saying you like uh, project management institute which has come in from the us but if i look at the us government in all these kind of where if any country does something to us they always go back and react they settle the scores so they don't have a gratitude they don't have a forgiving attitude uh, they say okay an eye for an eye if i go to middle east saudi arabia eye for an eye so so it's a very very different uh, practices across the globe but in my life at least in a volatile society where i live uh, where people just don't want to listen and they just want to like hammer you down it's better to avoid if you want to live peacefully otherwise in today's volatile environment it's very difficult to survive with these kind of people sir yeah thank you uh yes uh, you said right mr mithal uh, i think you have you can have a successful relationship with a, a negative person as long uh, as your expectations are based in reality don't accept uh, expect massive changes overnight and the only person you have control over is you you is the, you are the only person you have control over and so focus on your happiness not other happiness and rise above and remain positive i think it is a very good idea for you you retire the person and uh, stay uh, stay back no issue thank you so much mr mithal uh miss bitul please carry on please yeah it's okay thank you yeah yeah i think it's a very nice session and another initiative uh, from the project management here on the soft skill side very much required yeah. thank you miss bitul please carry on uh miss bitul are you there yes i'm here thank you so much everyone uh please give us uh, your precious feedback about the, uh, today's session uh and i want to say something to mr david that uh, i like your personality and your <laughs> lock it and drink very much so thank you thank you sir uh and uh, mr mithal you, your uh, uh, suggestion is uh, very uh, informative and it's uh, totally about my situation right now i am in the situation where i am working i am facing all these things uh from my seniors but uh, your suggestion and your uh, experience tell me very uh, very informative information to ignore people and uh, how to work and improve myself not to work on themselves uh, so thank you mr david and mr mithal and audience kind of was feedback and if anyone still have any question you can send us on our email uh, project management uh, pmlh uh, thank you so much uh, stay blessed everyone and uh, stay connected for more sessions uh, thank, thank you so thank much you mr patul so akhtar thank you so much uh, thank you so thank much you. mr david for this very informative session and uh, thank you thank so much you all so the much. participants uh, uh, thank you so much uh, right. and uh, have a good night good night from uh, here sir, uh, sir david uh, sir david your uh, appreciation certificate uh, will be shared with you by email and uh, all the participants certificate will be shared through uh, their email uh, kindly please uh, send your email in a chat box message please uh, these five six uh, participants i think uh, please share your email id in chat and box and thanks to anila and to lu for batul also for very nicely moderating the session yeah thank you thank you so much thank you thank you so i much hope we will uh, so stay connected for long uh, yes mr tulin uh, inshallah yeah inshallah and share yeah. more information and more experience uh, yes inshallah 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 we'll do thank you so much ms batul thank you so much have You're a good welcome, night sir. and have a sweet dream okay